Howdy folks, and welcome back. We're ready to leave this giant tin can with my brand new giant tin can. But before we do that, let me give you a little tour of the ship. We're going to be we spending... We call this the research room. You can run research projects and coordinate with the Nexus from here. We're going to be spending quite a bit of time in this joint, so might as well know where everything's at. That's the bio lab. We can grow plants for food and oxygen and keep any specimen safe. Cora is gonna set up set up shop in here. It's the blonde chick. Some serious kill over here. I'm happy for you, man. Our tech lab is an engineer's dream. It's perfect for any delicate technical work. Alright. Some serious kill over here. Thanks for letting me, for letting me know. In the back end of the ship. We're almost out there. Finally. Check her out. Hello. I've just got to finish this download from the Nexus. We'll be ready for launch. Happy. Happy to do that. Hi there. Can we talk and stuff later? I've got some last minute adjustments. She'll be ready to go when you are. Right, nobody wants to talk to me. Okay, this is the engine. This is the engine room, by the way. Let's head down. Come on. This is. I think this is just a. Yeah, this is Liam's shack. Look at that. Look at that sofa. Look at how filthy this place is. Oh my god! Another reason not to like the guy. This is where Vitra is gonna be holed up. It's just a closet with guns. Of course, there are guns. Oh, there she is. Securing cargo and checking everything made it on board. The bridge mm. report's ready. Let's gather up some of that sweet, sweet, sweet research data. You'll get to see what it's used for anyway, soon. Voila! The Hi, med bay. The med bay. I'm not even going to talk to her before because I know that she's not going to bother with me. Crew quarters. Most of the crew bunks in here. Cozy, huh? But your room's got more of a view. Well, the bathroom and the most important part of the ship. The kitchen. <laughs> and this is my spot. These are the Pathfinder's quarters. Your quarters. Sam's router is down there too. Look at this place. It's bigger than my house. <laughs> well, it's not, but... Damn, I would live here. This is my email terminal. Oh, cool! The pie jack. And interviews from a reporter, which I do not care about. We just got some special delivery stuff. A SpaceX rocket model. And Sam. Verifying my connection from Hyperion to the Tempest. The Nexus confirms we're free to depart. I'm happy for them. And, oh, right, the wardrobe. So we got this, which I'm not wearing. Even though it's a blasto, it's blasto in front of there. Hoodie. That's what she originally was supposed to wear, by the way. That's just uninspiring. That's why I love my jacket. Anyway, what do you guys say we leave this place, huh? It's getting boring. I wonder where's Cora? This is an epic moment, so I'm gonna shut up. Departure trajectory locked, Nexus Control. Ah, time for introductions. You must be Ryder, Gallo Jaff. A pleasure to be here, and to meet you, of course. I'll be piloting the Tempest at your word. Quite the ship, but it'll take a Pathfinder's guidance to see us through Helios. Plenty of dangers out there, but I'll do my best to avoid them. That's reassuring. 
Wouldn't want to lose my finest work to that angry cloud. I was test pilot for the Tempest's early prototypes. I admit, I'm itching to see how she performs out here. So, how do I... The console syncs with your implant. Just swipe, touch a destination here, and the nav system calculates everything. Very efficient. It was optimized for a Pathfinder. Everything's secure, if you're ready. Is anyone ready for something this big? We signed on for the big stuff when we came to Andromeda. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Command access is transferring successfully. Eh, uh, science and monitoring stations look fine. Lexi's reporting in. Helm is green. Gil reports the drive core is online. This is it, Ryder. The Tempest is yours. Unless you've got something to say for the log. <laughs> no time for speeches. Let's see what we can find. Nexus Control, this is the Tempest, Ident 2527, prepping to depart. You were waiting for a speech, weren't you? Ha! <laughs> Suckers. Departure vector verified, Tempest. Godspeed, Pathfinder. To Eos, then. What would have been our Habitat 1? Two failed outposts put an end to that idea. Maybe we can turn things around. Callow, take us in. Welcome to the galaxy map. Pretty, isn't it? What do you say we head there? System, Pythias. Andromeda Initiative Habitat 1. Designated Eos. It was supposed to be an easy first step. Until no one else showed and we got clobbered. Twice. Why has Sam altered frequency detection? What are we hearing, Sam? There is a signal, Pathfinder. I recommend an immediate examination of Eos. Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. We can uh, inspect all of that, but we're gonna do that in... An episode that doesn't involve primary quests, so. A mirror of the signal on Habitat 7. Possible atmospheric manipulation. Is that possible? We'll find out. If it is like Habitat 7, no doubt we'll run into the CAD. Now, before we land, there's something I need to do first. First, uh, hmm. Yeah, let's do it. So, this is the loadout station. This is where I'm going to exchange these useless things for the loadout I had on my previous playthrough, which was something like this. I had the beautiful Asari sword, which gave me quite an edge. I had my, where is it, the Valkyrie 7, right? That's the one, right? Pretty sure. Go away. Thank you. Pretty sure that was the one that I equipped for it to be a plasma rifle. And then I had two kinds of pistols, the N7 Eagle, which was just borderline crazy, and the Hurricane, which rate of fire was equally crazy. And as for weapons and, ar and as for armor, I had this wonderful, wonderful thing. Where is it? Pathfinder Vigilant Armor. Boom. More Vigilant Armor, more Vigilant Armor. Why am I putting the Vigilant Armor? Look at that. Weapon Resistance, Weapon Accuracy, Damage Resistance, Weapon Accuracy, and I've upgraded them a bit. 
so it could be cool. That was my setup. Let's go customize it even more before we land. We haven't really spoken since orientation, have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet down. I'm so happy he got quiet. Let's change the colors to what we had them before this whole thing. Now, what was the custom tint I used to have? I think it was white. Right? White. There we go. White and red? Should we go for white and red? Hmm. Nah. Let's go for white and blue. There we go. About there. Perfect. And let's get a pattern. There were some cool patterns here. Yeah, that's the one. Perfect. Beautiful. There's a pattern. And the most important part of this, of our little preparation before we land on Eos. Oh. You're not Harry. The blue give it away? Habitat 7 was a little more action-packed than Harry bargained for. He decided to spend his retirement years in the Hyperion looking after your brother. Joke's on him. Scott's a handful. I think you're both trouble. Hold still. Ow! Sorry. I remember you having a gentler touch. Still trying to get my bearings. Thought I'd be waking up colonists, not taking care of the Pathfinder. Well, you'll be fine. I couldn't be in better hands. I just stabbed you. We all have off days. I always hoped to work in the field, but everything's happening so quickly. Focus on the positive. It helps. I guess this is my opportunity to study alien species firsthand. Getting a cat specimen aboard the Hyperion would be difficult, but here... Uh, what? A cat what? corpse. For autopsy, I'm, a live subject would be better, but I'm not greedy. Why do you care about the cat? You'll have a lot of Harry corpses. Didn't tell you? I'm a specialist in alien anatomy. My thesis on Krogan virility and aggression is what got me in the initiative. By the way, in case you're, inter in case you're wondering, yes, but no. That's a very specific topic. I grew up on Omega, lots of Krogan mercenaries. The best habitat outside Tuchanka. But we were discussing the cat. An autopsy could teach us potential weaknesses, average lifespan. Right. Just something to think about. Sam, make sure the Pathfinder eats her vegetables. Oh. Oh no. I'm just joking. I can eat veggies. Easy. Where is the thing? There it is. Okay. <clears throat> let's respec. We have plenty of money, so let's respec. Now, what do we need to do? The whole idea of the build is, sorry, revolves around turbocharge and tactical cloak. Here it is. Tactical cloak, turbocharge, and where is it? Invasion. Basically, this debuffs the enemy's armor, makes them get more dam take more damage. This buffs my damage while making me invisible at the same time. And well, you all saw what turbocharge did in the early episodes. So, like I said, let's go for that build. Now, duration, damage, obviously, and supercharge. Boom. Next up is pistols, so we're going to be using quite a bit of pistols. These are passive, these are not active abilities, so I can just pick them all up if I want to. Spare ammo, because why not? Reload and clip size, reload of course, and assisted targeting. This is basically firing from the hip uh, pistol damage. This is aiming pistol damage. Assault rifles, we're going to be using a bit of those. So let's beef them up, get them spare ammo, make them reload faster. Enemies hit by assault rifle. It's pretty cool. Headshot. Nah, let's just pick this one. Okay, 
Now, whoops, from what the build said when I saw it on the internet, it, they used shotguns, but I don't like shotguns. Well, I don't like shotguns, I prefer assault rifles, because I'm a masochist. So, combat fitness, blah blah blah. I'm never going to be using consumables. And I... Do I have an extra holster? Or heavy lifting? Weapon spare ammo, clip size, I mean, whatever. Hold the line and in the trenches. Low health, damage resistance, reach health, health, willing cover. We're going to be flying, so we don't need none of that. Combat tools. Evasion is sick, but like I said, we're going to spice things up a bit with some aerial play. So, one, two, three. And there's a soldier. But, because I'm in love with Omni Grenades, it's the best thing ever. Frag grenade, damage radius, yes please. Capacity, and we're gonna make it... Let's make an EMP grenade, shall we? And concussive shot is insane. So, we're just gonna, we're just gonna get it. Radius, damage, and force. Let's make it anti-armor. We're not gonna be using much of that, but hey, it's good to be here. And we just unlocked Soldier Level 4. Initiative Commando. Now, tech. What good stuff we can get from tech. First of all, let's upgrade this. Recharge speed. And let's go with that. This one, of course. When affected and it falls below 50%, invasion triggers an explosion that damages the enemy, blah blah blah. Weapon damage, we don't care about that. There we go. Tactical cloak. Damage bonus, of course, duration, of course, and combat cloak, because it keeps you stealthed. This, after you reveal, you get a short damage bonus, because well, the moment you fire, you, re you reveal yourself. This keeps you stealthed, which prolongs this, which stacks with everything else, and it just makes this just dumb and completely overpowered. Auxiliary systems... Weapon mass reduction, combo priming, I mean, sure, whatever, let's go with that. Enduring tech, effect duration, and tech effect area. duration, shield feedback, what? We can shield regeneration immediately, eliminating any delay, oh, yeah, that's sick, power recharge time rate. Now let's go with that one. Offensive tech, let's make everything anti-armor, because of course, anti-synthetic, because... We're not going to be carrying a lot of detonators, shall are we? No, we won't. No, we won't. Tech and technical rounds. T weapon damage. Why would I not? Mm. Team support, because we love our friends. No, we don't. What other cool stuff we got? What other cool stuff we got from here? I think we have everything we want from the combat tech. Let's start picking things up in this tech. Energy drain is pretty cool. Let's get it. Effectiveness. Extended drain. Wow. This makes it a primer. No, I want it to be a detonator. So auxiliary drain. And this just blasts them apart. So yeah, please do. Overload, that's a detonator. No, wait, I need a primer. So incinerate. Burning, uh, projectile impacts, new impact and anti-armor. And this makes it detonators. No, double incinerate sounds better. I like tech, in case you didn't notice. Yeah, fine, let's finish team support. Squad offense and support. Power restoration and defense. Uh, whoops, well. Okay, tactical revive, team recovery, tag team shield relay, blah blah blah. Yeah, let's go with that one. And life support is disgusting. We're gonna get that through a quest, in case you're wondering. What? Huh, cool. Cryo beam. I don't like it. Okay, let's put things everywhere when they need to be. Let's assign that here. Let's assign tactical cloak here. Perfect. And we have nine points to spare. Where do we spend them? Uh, that would be cool, but... Mm. 
Where do we spend my remaining points? Where do we spend my remaining points? Let's go! It won't be, f it won't be a bad idea to have this, right? It should be fun. Okay. Ah, oh, cool. The Savant. Now, and we're gonna keep this initiative commando. Now, these are the favorites. F1, F2, F3, F4. And I can switch up on the fly in case I need to. Now let's have that. Uh, let's have a proper a soldier build with my favorite things in the world. And let's assign that to favorite number two. And whoops. And let's have a tech oriented build with incinerate omni grenades. So this is the primer and this is the detonator. So oh, we can keep the concussive shot as a detonator to incinerate though. Hmm. This replenishes my stuff. So let's just go with that. Perfect. And let's put that to favorite number three. But we're going to switch that up. Actually, yeah, we should switch that up. So we're going to have the infiltrator for this one. Let's put it to favorites. There we go. This is the infiltrator now. And the techie, I will need more stuff to build. So that's Sarah Ryder, son. People. Let's hope this works. And this, the facial reconstruction suite literally means that I can just rebuild my face. But like I said at the beginning, I'm terrible at doing these things, so I won't do it. See? See how, see how easy that works? Anyway, let's land on EOS! Let's get this party started. Come on, don't lag now. Thank you. Landing! Coming in for a landing. Right. My stuff. Give me my pistol. These are mods that can be changed, and I have a, a lot of them, but it's fine. Who am I going to pick? I don't like you, but I like you even less, so... See ya! I'll just grab the Turian. There we go. What's that? Oh, right, that one. Consumables. I mean, sure, that works. Let's go! Suiting up. See you on the ramp. Hope we're all that ready. Callow? Alright. Integrating search area from Sam. How he pulled that mystery signal through the storms, I have no idea. Multisensory neural collision. Amazing. Factory fresh across the board. Spinning up the compensators. You're already tuning the displays. We'll get a better read on this pass than the Nexus has had in months. What? I said a lot of people have their hopes pinned on us. They gave up on Eos. Can't blame them. Expected a golden world, instead they saw their friends die. Never know how that'll affect. Sorry. You okay? This is exactly why we came. A new galaxy, a new ship. Oh, I can't man. wait to get both a little dirty. That ship, Pathfinder, though. the Tempest checks out. We're good. Cutscene time. Take us down. You have no idea how long I've wanted a Pathfinder to see that. What are you doing back there? Get out of there! Core is hot. Shields holding, adjusting entry. You got this, right? What are you doing back there? You're not supposed to be up there. Set us down at this nav point. Loading, loading. Come on. Come on.
Well, here we are. What are we supposed to do here? Reports state this planet suffers deadly storms that are contaminated by radiation from the Scourge. EO's deployment was incomplete due to environmental hazards and ultimately hostile This analysis hazards. provides us with important Plus, research no data, Pathfinder. If EOS is like Whoa, everybody's talking at the same time. Holy shit. We could use the outpost antenna to track it down. Let's get the power back on. Take it easy, everybody. must have known these wouldn't last. Dora's getting emergency power, but it's code locked. Site 1 issued individual security codes. Each outpost self-organizes and sets its own protocol. Just say we can't open it without codes. We can't open it without codes. Come on. There we go. Let's find the codes then. Wait, I'm... What? Whee! Jumping! Whoops. Well. Got a code lock key. Yay! Handy. It'll get us in. We suffered our first death today. Storm came out of nowhere. He tried to cover our crops. Lost his footing. Got swept away. His wife is still in cryo. Maybe by the time they wake her up, I'll know what to say. Uh, I would hate to be in that situation, honestly. But... Oh well. The perils of going to another galaxy, I suppose. Let's go open the door. Faster! Faster! Go, go, go! Main door had power, but not the interior doors? Full functionality would require an active power relay station. That means the antenna's out of power, too. The logs might tell us what's up with the power relay. Uh-huh. 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 I'm impressed. Alright. Power interface. I got a partial lock, but I can't turn on the antenna. Something's blocking the power. A remote lock is active. The interference originates from a nearby power relay tower. Let's check out this relay. Look at this place. It's a wasteland. The radiation in Eos's atmosphere makes it difficult to cultivate life. No. Radiation? Our suits protect against that, right? Site 1 contains shield masts to dampen the brunt of contamination. But if we go outside Site 1's per perimeter structure up ahead, just hope Sam? that you don't want to make the any kids. It's of a power relay station, Pathfinder. Right. Get it running, maybe buildings get power. And we'll know where to look for that signal. Guess that ship wasn't kept then. They don't knock. There are people here. You thought everyone left was gone. Of course you did. Now shove off. Find your own salvage. This spot's taken. So you're a salvager. Got a name? I'm Ryder. Clancy. Making an honest living by... Wait, Ryder? As in Pathfinder? The Nexus just can't let Eos go, can it? However much it fails down here. I'm tracking a signal that will help Eos. I only need power for the antenna. Look, I cut the power for a reason. The Ket are patrolling today. You turn the power relay back on, they'll know there's a juicy target alive down here. Help me with the power relay, and I'll take care of the Ket. You're crazy. Though maybe it's a good crazy. Okay, I'll enable the generators out there. You want to poke the tiger, it's on you. Oh yeah, we're poking that tiger, We expect boys. trouble when we start the generators. There's an error in the startup sequence. Manual input required. Damn it. Please scan one of the pylons to determine a hackable input location. Here we go. Generator is active. Sam, our friend Clancy, was he part of the outpost team here? No, Pathfinder. According to Nexus records, he's stationed in the hangar bay. So he used his clearance to sneak off the station. Make some credits on the side. Don't sound so impressed. Really, 
rider. <laughs> Generator interface possible. Location marked. We've got company. Oh yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Let's shoot some fools. Time to see what my guns are made of. And this, my friends, is my glorious plasma rocket. Sorry, you're dead, son. Ah, that was fun. The power relay station is ready for activation, Pathfinder. That was so much fun. I feel good trying to shoot people again. It was awesome. Well, I didn't try to shoot people. I actually shot them, and they you weren't took people. Down all those cat Sure, use the power relay. Hell, take whatever you like. Word of advice, though. If that signal of yours is out past the perimeter, you'll need a ride. A ride? Uh, Shuttles yeah. aren't fun in these winds. You oh. need wheels. That's what you mean. I think they kept a little something in storage. Didn't get around to salvaging it yet? I tried. It ain't that simple. Might be easier for a Pathfinder, though. We're heading to our shuttle. Keep this up. Maybe next time we'll find more than just salvage around here. Don't suppose you've got anything we can use. Right. Okay. Cobras! Gimme! What do you got? Ah, oh, the Maddox. I used to love these things in the previous Mass Effect games. What do you got? Mostly garbage. So... Okay. Not interested. What are you talking about? I bought something from you! You weirdo. And you didn't get those plates. They're mine now. And those things. Whatever those are. Power restored. We should have access to everything in Site 1 now. Right, Sam? Correct. Plus, I've located the source of the signal we detected in orbit. It's coming from the large alien structure just beyond Site 1. The structure appears almost identical to the one your father used to adjust the atmosphere on the previous planet. It's worth investigation. That almost feels like a lead. Damn right that's worth investigating. A warning. Radiation levels beyond the perimeter of Site-1 are well above acceptable limits. You cannot proceed without additional protection. All the more reason to see if that alien structure can make a difference to this planet. Come on, you better find that vehicle Clancy mentioned. Now that power is restored, we can investigate the nearby buildings. I'm so happy. Let's find my... Let's find my truck. Yes, I did say truck. Let's go! It's that way. Oh, the thing. Okay. You'll get to see what, what I was worried about. Not worried. Sorry. Whatever. Special requisition. All-terrain scout rover. A Nomad. Six-wheel drive. Jump jets. Just what you need. So shiny. This must be what clan... Ooh, fancy. Well, what do you know? The Outpost Research Center is still intact. Updating the Tempest on this critical recovery. Critical? Research was always key to the initiative. We'll need it here too. This tech is how we survive in Andromeda. Ingenuity on the ground. Someone else agrees. This research center was used recently to monitor the alien signal. This gives us the tools to find the source. And maybe whoever else is looking. Okay. <clears throat> I'm... Pretty sure that Yeah, activated. The research Thank you. station is back online. I've provided a list of weapons we can build by gathering and the required components. Did you hear that? Changing music. Anyway, this is a critical part of the game. R and D, research and development. This is where you research weapons, armor, and augmentations that I have almost researched the entirety of this joint. 
armor, such as the Hyper Guardian chest, which is an incredible piece of armor, and I have no idea why I researched it, because it's a close combat oriented armor. <laughs> Sorry. And weapons! I'm so researching this, by the way. Weapons are useful. Who would have thought? Also, you get to use Helios stuff, so you can research Helios weapons, Helios armor, such as the Helios Defender armor, which I don't know if I will use, guess we'll see, and augmentations, and this is remnant stuff, we will get, that will be available to us later. After we research, we get the blueprints, and with the blueprints, we come back here to development, and we make stuff. For instance, if I want to make an Avenger Assault Rifle number 7, thank you, thank you, go away. If I want to make an Avenger Assault Rifle number 7, I need these materials, I have them, plenty, and I can augment it in some way. For instance, I can make it a beam weapon, for instance. Not that I would want to, because it cuts its fire, its damage, in almost very badly, but whatever. And I can upgrade it in a number of ways. I'm not going to do that because it's simply an Avenger assault rifle, and there's plenty of those around, so I'm not going to bother. You use this little system to craft your own equipment and make your stuff fancy. Either by working in a fancy way, or by looking pretty. Mostly working in a fun way. You can take these, and this is for the Nomad, which you will get to see later. We're not going to research anything yet, though, because even if we research and develop, and develop it, it's we won't be able to use it, so it's best to do the R&D on the, on the Tempest, where you can actually get to use the stuff you have. You make, not have. No whatever. good. A forward station should have the access code once we call it down. Oh, really? I have to walk all the way over there? Come on. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. This is the game's fast travel. Looks like the forward station supplies are intact. Downloading Nomad Crate access code. And it is useful. Hey guys, check it out! It's my new car! Man, it's sexy. Huh? What do you think of that, Thomas? I'll take that over your Ford any day. These are all upgrades that I have completed and installed in this thing from my previous playthrough. It's just like, oh wait, you have installed stuff in this thing now. Yes, yes, no, I have. Just handle pretty smooth. Check both forward and reverse, would you? The bad thing with this thing is it has no guns, but hey, you can run over people, so I guess it's okay. It's all good. And here we come to the far, to the end of this episode, boys. It's been a blast. Next up, we will continue, and we're gonna do all sorts of nonsense. We're gonna check this out, and then we're gonna start doing random stuff. What's that? Oh, it's on the other side of the planet, so we don't really care about those. Anyway, as always, on the next one, we'll get more fun. And considerably more shooting. The shooting here was just a, just a taste of the slaughter that is to come. <laughs>